Victor, Amelia, Jeremy, Liam. It's double trouble time this week, and you've got some choices to make. Two of them. Well, good evening, my friends, and welcome to Big Brother Celebrity Hijack and the second and third eviction. Oh, yes. <laughs> what the housemates don't know is that tonight two of our housemates will be flung from the comfy confines of their home back into the rainy real world of reality. No more nominations, no more fried gammon for dinner, no more Big Burly John getting in the way of your private chats. Is everything all right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, it's been another week of jam-packed hijack action. Amy and Anthony found themselves literally taken hostage when ex-SAS man Andy McNabb hijacked the house. They were rewarded for their efforts with immunity from this week's eviction, but were forced to choose a housemate to be the first to step on the eviction row. Bad luck to Victor. And then, to top it all, the nominations themselves were commandeered by celebrity hijacker Joan Rivers, who decided that, along with Victor, Liam, Amelia and Jeremy were to face you, the big brother judges. So, which two should get ready to relocate? Our flexible friend Victor, his saucy sister Amelia, our rather touchy entrepreneur Liam, or our raciest housemate ever, Jeremy. That's raciest. So, to evict Amelia, call 09011 212204. That's 09011. 212204. To evict Jeremy, call 09011 212207. That's 09011 212207. To evict Liam, call 09011 212210. That's 09011 212210. Or to evict Victor, call 09011 212212. That's 09011 212212. At least 10 peaks from each call will be donated to charity. Details, as always, found at channel 4 forward slash big brother voting lines will close at 20 to 9. So while you prepare for the present dilemma, let's whiz back to the past yesterday to be exact when this happened. Dear 15, 928 AM. Most of the housemates are asleep. Anthony and Callista are sharing a bed. Two forty nine PM Today's celebrity hijacker is Denise Van Outen. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> Liam, Victor, Jeremy and Amy are at the sofas. Gia, Callista and John are by the dining table. Every day Big Brother provides Callista with a keyboard. One day she's gonna be great. She's gonna be big. If you don't believe me, just let her sing a song for you. John is singing. He's got the worst voice ever. <laughs> so bad. His pitching's awful. Anthony and Amelia are in the bedroom talking about Friday's eviction. Do you reckon it'll be? Me? I don't know. You're very funny. Maybe you know. A lot of people will see you very, very funny. You think and you're very pretty as well, so... No, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Good afternoon, housemates. Hello there. This is Denise Van Outen. Oh, Denise! And today, 
I've hijacked the Big Brother house to add some sauciness and some musical magic to your dull lives. Oh, Would all housemates please gather on the sofas in the living area? What does she do? She's a TV presenter. Very, very, very pretty. Come on, get your jazz hands ready. Very fit. Yeah! Spirit fingers are plenty. Did you see us dancing just then? You're all wonderful movers. I don't. <laughs> Come on, Anthony, what are you doing? Undressing. I want to look my best for you. I know. Well, you have got a great body, but. Oh, look at that. Quick spritz under the pits. <laughs> Come on. Does he always take this amount of time? Yes. yes. So vain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at your top. No, I want to see it first, see if I like it. Put it on. That's rubbish. It's Come near the last one. Sit your butty down. Hey, hey. Oh. Cheer up, Jay. I know. <laughs> How you doing, gang? Hey. Have you been watching, Denise? Wax, really. I have been watching, yeah. What do you reckon? I think you're very fit. Ooh. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, was that direct question to you? Or just in general? In general. Um, I've, I've been watching the programme. Yes, I have. Have you gone a little bit shy? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He's that one. You are gorgeous. I might have to come and pay you a little visit. Cool. <laughs> well, I'll keep that. <laughs> <hiding. laughs> are you a good dancer? I taught a toy of a moonwalk, didn't I? Can I just see the moonwalk? Let's have a look. It's not very good. So I just want to see what we've got in the house. It's like a walk on the moon. I'm not very impressed by that. OK. Uh, but you have got a lovely bottom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right, now listen up, gang. Mm -hmm. Today, we have got a musical theme. Yay! 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 Show me your jazz hands. Woo! That's spirit thing. I'm going to be calling various housemates to the diary ring, and I'm going to give you classic musical characteristics that they must follow for as long as I deem necessary, OK? No way. <laughs> More method And then I'm going to choose my two favourite housemates, the two that have impressed me the most, and they will win a hamper full of the finest luxury pampering products. Oh, oh my God. Can you chuck a couple of cans of Coke or Seven Up in there as well, please, Denise? Because I'm getting sick of water. I mean, OK. Uh... Well, I've seen your hamper, and it's bulging. Ooh. So there can oh, be a few treats in there, oh. should you win it. <laughs> 3.25 p.m. It's been 36 minutes since Denise Van Outen hijacked the Big Brother house. Denise has asked the housemates to warm up for today's musical theatre task. Take it out, take it out, take it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. <laughs> OK, right, the rest of you can just chill out for a moment. Jay and Callista, can you please come to the diary room? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's made my day. Yeah, that's it. I, I was thinking about her and jo Johnny Vaughan's one. I was thinking about the Big Breast Show. Big Breast Show. Big Breast Show. Big Breast Show, remember? Was that Big Breast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Half blood. Oh, Anne, give me a hug. Get off me. You've ruined my chances with it. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm watching you. No, I'm seeing me. I've got an I think I love you. I think I love you. Do you hear that, Anthony? Wow. Hello, Jay and Calista. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. I really wanted you to help me out with this task today. And what I'd like you to do <laughs> is, from this moment onwards, you'll only be able to sing what you want to say. Oh, I love doing that. OK. Yeah. But I want you to do it in a very musical style. Yeah, of course. So think sort of very West End. Yeah, OK. Broadway. You know, so it's got to be big, it's got to be loud. Yeah, yeah. Jay, how do you feel about that? I'm yeah. loving it! <laughs> I want drama, I want passion. I'm and also, loving it! I'm loving it! Brilliant. <laughs> and you can be as camp as you like. Be a Wicked. proper West End Wendy, OK? Do you like musicals, Jay? I love them! <laughs> Could you tell me how you're feeling in the Big Brother house? I'm feeling super! Thanks for asking! <laughs> <laughs> I like it that you're doing it with a slight American twang as well. So you, you can leave the diary room now, and I'll get back to you a little bit later on. OK. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. See you soon. Bye. Jay is brilliant. 
He's going to be so good at this. Hi, everyone. I got to sing everything. It. We're so sorry. Everything we want to say, we have to sing. <laughs> Look at their faces. They're just not impressed. Ka-ching. Ka-ching, ching, chong. I'm finding this quite hard. I think we should go in the bedroom, maybe. And the bathroom. It's actually going to become really annoying after a while. I'm <laughs> These prunes are amazing! Amazing! Sterling work there, Denise. So, four on the front line await their fate, but still got time to decide which two should go. You've got four minutes till I'm back in your face. Welcome back to Big Brother Slowly Hijack. What the housemates don't know is that tonight's a night where two of them go from being exceptionally talented housemates to just being exceptionally talented people. Or in some cases, just people. Uh, this week, four housemates are awaiting your decision. We've got the equivalent of Lewis Hamilton, a younger version of Bill Gates, an extremely stretchy version of Marie and Donny Osmond. Kind of, if Donny swung Marie around till her eyes bled. So, to evict Amelia, call 090-11-21-2204. That's 090-11-21-2204. To evict Jeremy, call 090-11-21-2207. That's 090-11-21-2207. To evict Liam, call 090-11-21-2210. That's 090-11-21-2210. Or to evict Victor, call 090-11-21-2210. 21 22 12 oh, 09 oh, double one, 21 22 12 as always 10 p from each call will be donated to charity details can be found at channel4.com forward slash big brother stop barking like dogs over that uh before we meet tonight's down and outs let's go back to happier times and liam reveals another hidden talent <laughs> 3 48 p.m Celebrity hijacker Denise Van Outen is in the hijack booth. Anthony's really handsome, isn't he? Good looking guy. Have to behave. <laughs> Bombay! It's been 18 minutes since Denise set Callista and Jay their singing task. I'm super, thanks for asking. <laughs> How you doing? Is it daylight or is it night? It's night time. This is Denise. Could Anthony and John please come to the dining room? Never seen that one coming. <laughs> Anthony and John every time. That's ridiculous. No, no, no. I wonder who I'll be with. Me. Get in there. I'm, I'm absolutely driven there. Hello, Denise. Good afternoon. Hello, boys. How are you? I'm well. Have you guys ever performed in a musical at school or put on a show? I was a in a musical show? in primary school, but then they pulled me because um, they thought I was a good actor, but I couldn't sing. I was right. that bad, that actually pulled me out of it. So. What was the role that you played? Annie? Annie Chips. <laughs> <laughs> what well, was it, John? I was Annie, yeah. I thought so. You have the look of Annie. Really? Have you ever heard of Michael Ball Anthony? I don't know, I don't... I was, I was what was Michael Bublé, though. You must have some of his albums. Love Changes Everything, the Andrew Lloyd Webber classic. You does... must know Michael Ball. If, if you're singing, Denise, I'm, I'm able to... Uh, love, yeah. love changes everything. Hands and faces. I'm singing it to you, Anthony. I'll be. Oh. From the heart. This is for you, from the heart. Oh, go on, baby. Love, love changes everything. Hands and faces, earth and skies. Do you like that? That's amazing. Did it get you going? That's, that's giving me feelings that I didn't know existed. Like. <laughs> have, you, have you got stirrings? I've got more than stirrings. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard of Elaine Page? No. You're not very up on your musical stars, are you? Frank Boone has done a bit of... Um... He was in pantomime. It's hardly the West End. Oh. Shame on you. Right, boys, that's enough flirting and chatting, I think, for the moment. We have to get on with the task. OK, today it is a musical theme. <laughs> Let me see your jazz hands. Shake, 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 shake your fingers. For the next couple of hours, you will only be able to dance to and from wherever you want to go. OK? But with a musical style. So I want you to think Chicago, 
like the Bob Fosse moves. I want you to think like shoe shuffle, so you can tap dance. <laughs> okay, or it can be contemporary dance. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, cool. And I'm going to be watching you very, very closely. Oh, yeah. I'll catch you later. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, he, I want to hold He's a singing songwriter. Woo! Remember my name. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Five or five p.m. Denise Van Outen is in the hijack booth. Most of the housemates are in the living area. John and Callista or in the kitchen. I have to shoe up shuffle to the potatoes. I love it. I'm here. At the potatoes. I'm just frying Why some. Why can't I have some? I don't understand. Because you're, you mean nothing to me. Do you want some? Yes, please. <laughs> Amelia and Victor, please come to the diary room. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi. OK. Right, now we're going to move on with our plea. This is what I would like you guys to do. This is your chance to perform. I know you're frustrated at the moment and you just want to get out there and do some performing. You have 20 seconds to plea to the public to keep you in the house. But you know I love my musicals. I want you to sing your plea. Now? You've got 20 seconds. Now. It's in right here. now. But I want you to sing it from the heart, Victor. Lean forward, that's it. I mean, if you just lean back slightly in the chair. Oh, God. This is it's... your shining moment. Oh, my word. OK, so sing to the public. I want you to plea with them. You have got to vote for me to stay. Because if you don't, all those hamsters that I've done will go away. You know I want to stay here and show you what I can do. I backflip all day, even without shoes. You know? Your time's up. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You remind me a little bit of Peter Andre. Yeah, oh, that was really good. Did you oh, like I, that, Amelia? It was I quite did. impressive, wasn't it? Well, I'm nervous oh, now. Oh, no, you can do it. Come on. Sing it, sister. Sing it. Oh, so embarrassing. OK. Hello, everybody out there. Please don't throw me away because I want to stay. And please don't separate me from my brother because I need that brotherly love and I just want to stay because it's so wonderful here and I love you all. 5.44 p.m. Liam and Amelia are in the bathroom. It's amazing just thinking that all these Disney movies have made us who we are. Wow. Disney. I love to have a test where you, you bring your child up with a Disney movies and you bring your child up without and see how much of an impact Disney movies have on, yeah, the, on that child. Yeah, I wouldn't make that test because it's me for the child without. Oh, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't do that, but it'd be nice to be able to do that, wouldn't it? Celebrity hijacker Denise Van Outen has called Jeremy to the diary room to sing his plea to the nation. Great, that's it. Stretch out. Lovely. OK. Lovely. I really want to stay. Please, <laughs> please vote for me to stay in. I believe I can win. Um, all the other housemates are a bore. Um, watching them must be a chore. Anthony and Callista are in the garden. This place is starting to do my head in. Why are you being rude to me? Well, oh, this isn't nothing on you at all. You know, like one person I... Like, I know I'm just being miserable. There's nothing, there's nothing, nothing to do with you at all. Mm. You're staying in again. Can't help but sorry. Sorry? For free. I don't mind.
Mm -hmm. We'll be out of here soon. So you're going to go? Jamie or Liam? Think, yeah, maybe. What do you think? I don't know. Who's, if you had to pick, oh, sorry. If you had to pick, who would you want to go? That's really, really mean. I don't know, no, who, 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 okay. Completely if, honestly? Yeah, if you had to pick someone to stay. Well, I actually really like Victor. I'd want him to stay. Yeah? Same goes with Jeremy. Yeah, I do like Victor. Don't you? Yeah? I think he's a nice guy, and he is understanding. Hmm. Oh, I didn't like it how he was aggressive to Toya the other day. Oh, yeah, I missed that. That's all. Fair enough being aggressive, but when you're shouting in a girl's face and slamming the door in her face when she's standing right in the doorway, that's taking it too far. Did you want me to stay in the bed? I thought you'd want me to go. No, that's, okay. that's cool, that's fine, that's cool. I did it for you because you said you didn't want us mm. to wake up in the same way. And people to be like, what's going on? Mm. But tonight I'm going to ask Jay to swap, swap, swap. Are you up for that? I'm down with that. Your hands are warm. Yeah, they're cold. Your hands are warm. Yeah, they're cold. You're the warm. Six or five p.m. Most of the housemates are in the living area. Oh, hey, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> ah! oh. As part of today's musical task, Latoya, Amy, and Nathan must form a chorus line every time music is played into the house. Who's done if I missed the chance? 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 Liam is in the diary room. As he faces the public vote, he must also sing a plea to the nation. Hello to everybody. I love you all. Please keep me in here, because I'm having so much fun. I love cleaning. I love cooking. These people are so interesting. I'm having a wonderful time here. Please keep me in this place. It's a wonderful place to stay. I want to get the most from this experience. I'll keep you smiling. I'll keep you happy. I'll make you joyful. Your time is up. Thank you. That was really interesting. You sound a little bit like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> it's really nice. Have you ever thought about a career in music? I love to sing acoustic songs like Damien Rice. Do you? Yeah, I sing Damien Rice quite a lot. Can I a little bit now? Just before I leave? Do you want me to? Yeah, go on. Tease me with it. And so it is. Just like you said it would be. Life goes easy on me most of the time. There's still time to choose your gruesome twosome. There'll be more from them indoors after the break. Welcome back to Big Brother Celebrity Hijack and the second and third eviction. Yes, indeed. Tonight, three men and a little lady face a public vote and you can decide which two will leave without even having to move from your sofa. That's living all right. Uh, those up for the chop this week are Italian stallion Victor, his minxy sister Amelia, floppy head, floppy disc lover, that's disc lover Liam, and Jeremy, the fastest man in the West of Fleet. But first, here's more from the house and Jeremy reveals his secret tactic for wooing the ladies. From from. 6.42pm. Most of the housemates are on the sofas. 
Celebrity hijacker Denise Van Outen has selected Callista and John as the most entertaining housemates during today's musical task and has rewarded them with a selection of luxury treats. White strips! It's really mean because we both asked for them. They should have given us like... 40. 60. 40 pack, yeah. Can I do someone's leg? You can do mine. <laughs> you can do my own pack. I did my sister's once and I did it evenly. <laughs> How do you do it, Eloy? <laughs> no, you, no, you do this. You do, you do this. <laughs> the sword and more pinfold. Who wants hand? Well, do it quickly. Oh, oh okay. Anthony is in a diary room talking to Denise. Um, do you think you're good looking? Pardon? Do you think you're a good looking guy? Me? I don't. Oh, not, I don't know. Not really. Oh, nothing special. Nothing like. Nothing special. I wouldn't say. Just like. I wouldn't, I wouldn't class myself as, like, good-looking. On just... a scale of one to ten, how gorgeous do you think you are? <laughs> gorgeous. Well, ten being gorgeous and one being, like... A minger. <laughs> I don't know, about seven, is that average? Who do you feel closest to in the house? Um, John, probably. John. And, like, recently I've been getting quite close to Callista as well. And I think... Yeah, I can see you getting quite cosy together. Yeah, I'll just quite cuddly, but we're just mates, really, anyway. I don't think anything else is going to happen. Oh, just... bless you. No, you've been lovely, and you've all been lovely. Thanks. You've been, a, you've been like, probably one of, if not my favourite hijacker so far, so... Oh, thank you. I've enjoyed the experience. You're welcome. Best of luck to you. Thank you, and yourself. Hopefully meet up with you again in the future sometime. Yeah, it'd be nice. Cool. <laughs> uh, you can go now. OK, thank you. Bye. See you later. Take care. Oh, bless him. He's so sweet. Let's see what he says. Quick. What? Anthony, what's wrong? Nothing. She just blows my breath away. Oh. Takes <laughs> your breath away. I don't know. What's, what's going on? Um, so much fun. Housemates, this is Denise. Hi, hey. It's hello. Hi. Hello and goodbye. Oh. Sadly, it's time for me to leave now. But I'd like to thank you all for being fantastic. Thank, thank you, Denise. Cool thank you, Denise. Have fun and enjoy the experience. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful. Oh, Denise, are you coming to the room? Over and Alton. Uh, Over and Alton, that's quite good. I'm sad to leave. Damn! Let's take my microphone off. Oh well, all good things must come to an end. They say. Eleven twenty PM. Liam is in the bath. Victor, Nathan, Jeremy, and Callista are in the bedroom. I don't have a boyfriend at home. After everything I've said. I didn't hear you say anything. I've seen you sleep with, um, Anthony a couple yeah, of times. Yeah, and... What's that? Does that mean you're single? <laughs> well... <laughs> Should we get him on bed? <laughs> <laughs> that be it. Thanks, Nathan. Sorry. Uh... John and Anthony are in the garden talking about Callista. Sorry, so I don't know if I do like going that way or not. I, will, I don't think I'll be able to tell until I... I don't think I do, though. I don't think I'll so I don't hit or not. The chair box, that's dangerous. No, I know. You know what I mean? I don't chuck in the bed with her every night and in the morning, so... <laughs> she jumps in bed with me, and yeah, I'm just like... Yeah, it's the same. It's a... Takes two. Takes two. Yeah, of course it does. Like, and models don't actually walk on the heel of shoes. They walk on their tippy toes. Fierce, 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 fierce. Now you're vulnerable. Yeah? Yeah, but you need to get a tad bit slower. At the end of the day, she's still got a boyfriend out there. Exactly. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to do anything. No, no, never. I'm not going to do anything in here. I'll just... Good. That's my worry. And she obviously likes you in that way. He's a both fucking with each other. <sighs> like, want to or no. You don't lie like that if you don't like each other. Mm. Short hands or whatever you do, I don't know. Um, I feel we're all going to do it. The whole group not us. Everyone's commenting, you know that, don't you? Denise Van Etten's coming in. Yeah, this, is, this is awkward, right? Because just then she come, just came into my eye line, right? Just then it sounds so bad. Just then. Mm -hmm. oh, just, this is going to sound Stop it, because she can see your reaction as well. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. This is going to sound She still knows you're talking about her. Oh. 
This is all a shock to me because that first week she was telling me how much she loves her boyfriend, how much how she thinks she's gonna, they're going to get married. Married? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was telling her about me and my my ex missus and that. I just, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do you like her? No, I don't know if I like. I don't, I don't think I do like her like that. I was coming here to have some fun. I didn't come here to like. Has she told um, you that she wants to meet her parents yet? Mr. Go says, oh, my, my mum and dad are so laid back. You'll, you'll, you'll know when you meet them. I'm like, oh, mm. strange. But I don't... you need to tell her though. She's asked you quite bluntly to your face, and you've not why, but you've had to sugarcoat it. Like if you were said to her, I, uh, sorry, I actually don't want you in that way. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Have you? No. No, I haven't, no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm turning into, like, agony aunt. Because <laughs> she's asking me the same question. Oh, this is mad, though, because I don't... I, oh, my God. 12.21 a.m. Anthony, John and Latoya are in the garden. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yo, yo, what you got? What you got? Okay, Kids John, give me a beat, <laughs> Victor, Amelia, Amy, and Jeremy are in the bedroom talking about fancying people. If you really want someone, do you know what I mean? Because if you if you know someone for a while, and you spend a lot of time, what what you're like friends. Um, deep down, deep down, you know if you're friends with someone that you actually do like them really. Really. And as soon as it actually happens, no, it's, it, with some girls it's like that. And then when you finally get together, fair enough, mm. you can be like, I've liked you for ages. I can now reveal the winner of Dance Off Celebrity Hijack goes to beautiful brown baby herself. It's a diet. Oh, put it in. What are you saying, Sonny? What are you saying? <laughs> it's like Sonic when you kind of get up the hill. <laughs> Callista is in the diary room. My emotions are just like all over the place. I'm really happy one minute and then just feel like shit the next. I think the, the problem is everyone in here, the relationships you build with anyone, you can misread things so much because you don't know those people. You've only known them for two weeks. So certain situations will be completely misunderstood from different points of view. With Anthony, sometimes I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I just, oh, I don't know, this place is weird. I guess I just don't know what he's thinking. And I feel, just like 12 years old again. I just get this feeling. There's a feeling in my tummy. You say you've got really close to Anthony. Can you describe this relationship to Big Brother? I don't know what it is. I don't think we're just friends, but... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> well, I, nev I never, I never, ever, I never, ever tell a girl that I'm a racing driver. Do you know what I mean? I just talk to them like I'm a normal person. But when you... <laughs> Do you know... I just talk to them like I'm a normal person. Uh, Jeremy, no, you I'm are a normal person. person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a superhero you are. What are you, a superhero? <laughs> oh, racing driver! No, I'm just joking. No. That's sad, you know, I didn't feel that. Victor, is there more room for me to just sit on the edge of that bed? Because there's really not that much room here, what with Jeremy, his head and his ego all in one oh, small Come bed. on! I didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. What not? What? Are you yourself? Mm-hmm. You're fine? Mm-hmm. You're fine? I'm going to go to bed now. OK. Yeah. 
Hey, pretty, what's up? Mm -hmm. I want to go to bed. Mm -hmm. You're a bit. I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm. You can talk to you. Yeah. I'll be a bit. I'll be a bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Thanks. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Four forty AM. All of the housemates are in the bedroom. Callista was absolutely gutted when Denise left. Well, that is you up to date. Amelia, Jeremy, Victor and Liam better get their hats and coats at the ready as two of them are going to be facing the chill of the winter wind and the warmth of our loving crowd <laughs> after the break. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Big Brother Celebrity Hijack. The night where you, not content, we just one evicted housemate, a greedy booting out too. Uh, so when you decide to keep it in the family and get rid of siblings Victor and Amelia, or have Liam and Jeremy done enough damage to cause them to be flung out on the ex-housemate heap? Who knows? Well, in fact, I do, as I have this card and the voting lines have closed. It's time to find out who you have chosen as the second and third people to be evicted, as I am now going to speak to the house. Yikes. Sniper, sniper. Yeah. Big Brother House. <laughs> this is Dermot. You are live on E4. Yeah. And there are kids watching you who admire and look up to you. So Woo. please don't sweat. Yeah. Amelia, yeah. Jeremy, Liam, and Victor. Good. The votes have been counted and verified, and I can now reveal that the second housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Celebrity Hijack House is... Liam! That's all right. All right. And... The third housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Celebrity Hijack house oh is... Well, guys. Victor. Good one, brilliant. Thank you. Sorry, man. Cheers, man. Big Lee. Put your own stock on the money. Cheers, man. I'm Zeke. Yeah, well. Have a great time. I will. Good luck, Victor. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, yeah. 
All right. Liam and Victor, you have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. We're going to get you and you. Absolute pleasure, mate. Yeah, we'll catch up with you definitely on the outside, yeah? Definitely, buddy. Definitely, I'll go. Okay, oh. yeah. Yeah, so happy. Just, uh, really, I am Thanks, guys, uh, for everything. Right. 10, oh, 9, oh, 8, 7, oh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Liam, you are the You have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Oh, Liam and Victor, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Liam and Victor, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Who's? <laughs> we expect this one. Here we go. Here we go, bud. I mean, what's today? Yeah. See you then. Good night. How did you get that feeling? I've got that feeling as well. I've got that feeling like... Well, there's not many people there. Yeah, like, is there like about five people? Like, well, yeah, five people, exactly. Do you know what I mean? But well, like... Uh... So is there only two tonight, like... do you think? Why well, couldn't it be just me and my brother? It's fine, you know. She survived now over two boys. That's impressive. Yeah, I did. I did survive over two boys. Asha? You alright, Jerry? Yeah, fine, man. Cheers. 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 I wish they would have went out separately as well. Hmm? I wish they would have went out separately, not together. Why did you say that for? They might have been better than they were. No. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. I hope Victor